Hey, good Wednesday morning, everyone. This is Joe. Welcome to my scripture reflection for Wednesday, March the 15th, the Ides of March. Beware the Ides of March, they say. Well, I think we should beware every day to not fall into traps that bring us down. We should always beware to be on our best kind of attitude that we can be on each day. So that's just a little uh, different spin, if you will, on the uh, Ides of March. So another thing of a different spin is for the next two days, Thursday and Friday of this week, I will post, in addition to on YouTube, I will post here on my page the uh, St. Mark Gospel Reflection for that day. So I will not be live. Instead, Thursday and Friday, I will be, be posting those here on my Facebook page. Please stop by and listen in. I would be very appreciative to get your feedback on my St. Mark series. With that in mind, I ask you to quiet your minds and hearts as we prepare to hear today's gospel, which is from St. Matthew chapter 5, verses 17 to 19. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or prophets. I have not come to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth are passed away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law, until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus says that he has come to fulfill the law, and in fact he did. And he fulfilled the law with a great deal of respect, love, and compassion uh, versus the Old Testament. Let's face it, if you read the Old Testament, you hear that things are pretty harsh, you know. It's this way, and it's got to be. And Jesus is very compassionate in his approach and very here it is, listen to it if you will, kind of approach. And that is very much a positive teaching approach, I believe, in the world even today. And speaking of, he goes into the fact that we need to be teaching the commandments very effectively in our life. It is said that a good teacher is like a candle. A candle consumes itself to light the way for others and how true that is and how effective that would be if we all realize that we are teachers. And in addition to realizing it, we must also realize that in order to be a light for others, that candle must be in good shape, right? Without a solid wick on it, without a good healthy candle, it does not light the way for others. So if we're going to consume ourselves, our own being of being a candle, into lighting the way, we have to make sure that we too are in a healthy place. And I'll add one more thing to that. You know, not all candles are perfect, and not all of us are perfect. And therefore, when we do have our down moments, that's okay. But I think it's very appropriate, and it's very helpful to be open about that, to be open that we share some faults and some shortcomings and some challenges, to be open that maybe one day we are not the same as we are yesterday versus today for whatever reason that might be. I think we build a lot more rapport and credibility with others if we're in any position to be a teacher when we are able to do that. And when we do, I think we all have that ability to grow together. So the question I ask you today is how does your candle look? How does your candle look? Can we do anything to sharpen it up a little bit to make it a little bit more effective? And then yes, can we shine a positive light out there showing that Jesus's way of living the commandments brings us a great deal of joy, compassion, and love. Well, my friends, that's my message for you today. I hope it was helpful. Please take it into your day and into the rest of your week and share it with others. I wish you all a wonderful Wednesday, and I'll see you back here tomorrow with my St. Mark Reflection. Take care, everyone.